My name is Dr. Simon Leclerc. I'm an accident emergency consultant based in Middlesbrough and I'm the deputy medical director of the Great North Air Ambulance. The point of putting doctors on to aircraft is to deliver the resuscitation room to a critically injured or uh, seriously ill person uh, at the scene so that we can start to provide that life-saving treatment before they even get to hospital. I've got the tube. Tube, goes tube is past the cord, so bougie out, please. Bougie's away. So patients who have a problem with their airway, uh, lubrication is very important. These are patients who are critically ill, who need an airway intervention as quickly and as safely as possible. Putting equipment in that doesn't have lubrication uh, raises the chance of the, the equipment not going into the right place in the right time, and if it does go into the right place, it may not sit correctly. So effectively, we need to be able to put those devices in in a smooth manner with as little uh, complication as possible, and lube allows us to do that. There's always a risk when we're putting a device into somebody's mouth or into their throat that we can cause trauma. And lube, in effect, does help minimise that risk. In A&E, we use lubrication in quite the same way for our patients with airway problems. We have other devices as well that we may use in patients who are not as poorly um, but require some sort of help. And lube, you know, nasopharyngeal airways as well, and things like that that a patient can tolerate when they're conscious, we would use lube for that. Also, we put nasogastric tubes into patients so we try and drain their stomach. And we require lube again to do that because it's far more comfortable for the patient and it, and it makes the, the actual technique easier. The sort of thing we're looking for in lube is something that is uh, sterile. So ideally comes in a pack that's small enough that we can just use once and then discard. Uh, so we're not wasting too much. Sterility is very important. It's certainly something we've come to recognize in the UK over the last few years. And by default, the patients that we're using the gel on for an airway procedure are critically ill. Quite often we find these patients have infections that develop over the course of the next few days. And anything we can do to minimize that risk um, of introducing infection is, is of course of paramount importance. Great. And then it'd be packaged to uh, transfer. We, we don't tend to use oil-based products really because um, they, they've been proven to be detrimental to the equipment we're using. So they can rot um, the plastics, the rubbers, uh, any sort of polymer that is, is an artificial device in a patient. And I have worked in environments uh, overseas where we don't have lubrication. Um, and it is, it makes life much more difficult. Actually then what you're relying on is using a patient's saliva or their blood or some other secretion. Uh, to insert the devices because they, the devices need to be lubricated to minimise the risk and so you know that's far from ideal when I've worked in those situations. It's much easier just to carry a sachet of lube and use it as you need it.